Hey you, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Um, got a, <laughs> a crazy order from a live sale of Beauty and the Bead um, on Facebook. They, I believe they do live sales uh, on Facebook Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, they have a lot of interesting items. They buy from uh, other bead vendors, stores, people, estates. It seems like they they find all kinds of unique items along with like your standard uh, uh, standard beads, such as crystals, um, stones, all kinds of stuff, metal. Uh, and I think in here I got a. I think I got like two dollar magnesite strands and some like four dollar metal bags. They had like some blowouts. So I'm gonna open this up and we'll get right back into it. All right. Beauty and the bead. Let's get into this. Let's get into some good trouble with beads. Um don't look at that price. <laughs> Price uh, that doesn't exist. Okay. Oh my goodness. Um, shoot. Kind of went a little nuts. <laughs> oh yeah. The oh yeah. There was some bulk metal at two dollars. Um, bulk metal three at two dollars. <throat> Excuse me. And into the bag. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot I got this stuff. Antique gold plated lead free and nickel free. Um, there's a, I don't know if this is an Israeli or a Hebrew company. No, it's made in India. Huh. I, uh, this is a Hebrew. Uh, and I forget what it, oh, I used to know what it means. There it is again. That's interesting. Uh, these little zebras are super cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. These things are adorable. Adorable. I, oh my gosh. They're going to look so cool, like in some like tribal earrings. Oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I make so many weird voices. I love those zebras. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, what do we got? Um, we got some elephants. It's a connector, so there's the tail. So there's the tail part. And then there's the trunk part. So it's a little tiny connector. Oh man, that is super cute. And it it's pretty heavy. Wow. I I just love the quality of beads I've received from Beauty and the Bead. I mm, they just they've always got really interesting things. These, like, like on other sites, you would pay an arm and a leg for this detailed of a piece. And then there's, am I too close? There's the bale on the back where, where you can string it. So stinking cute. Let's go with some more metal. Okay, so th this metal was eight bags at four dollars each. I can't believe. Man, that's a good price. Two dollars for some really nice charms. You know, if I, I love Tierra Cast and Green Girl Studio and all that stuff. They're kind of pricey. I mean, they're really great quality, but 
sometimes when you want to use a lot of something, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's nicer to have little, you know, more explicit prices. Sorry I'm mumbling. I'm, like, trying to figure out what these are. Okay, they're just, they're just little links. So, there's a ton in here. That's awesome. You can link, make some chain, or you could do, like, figure out, like, maybe, I wonder if you could, like, look at that, you could do, like, some grapes. Maybe you could link them all together and make a pendant or like some really flowy dangly earrings. You could just get some really nice small jump rings that don't make it too busy. And then you could have like a flowy earring or pendant. That's the fun part when you get like a bunch of pieces like this. You can do a lot more neat unique things with the pieces. Yeah, you could like. Ah! Can't get this open. But these guys, these guys are heavy. Oh, I like these. Oh, nice. Nice stuff. They've got good stuff at Beauty and the Bead. You get a lot for $4. Um, the metal bags on their website, the um, beautyandthebeadshop.com, uh, have metal bags for five bucks. And that's still a good price. But when I saw this live sale and they had them for four and two, I was like, oh, I gotta get some of that. Oops, dropping things. These have just a subtle texture. I love it. Mm. I need to check out their live sales this week just so they have any more metal bags because I'm in desperate need of metal components to put my jewelry together instead of just stringing and uh, wire wrapping um, links and stuff like that. Something different. Oh, look at these. Can you see that hole? that goes through there. There's that hole. Yeah, can you see it? Straight through there. So you could put a bead in there, like a little, maybe like a, I think six millimeter bead might fit, or a four millimeter. It's up to you. A little tiny bag of, <laughs> little tiny bag of metal. I love it. Mm. These are neat. And some little ballet style tubes. Look at these guys. The little rope ends. Yay! I don't know if I can get these back in the bag. Yeah, these are just rings, I think. Oh, wait, no, or is it a jump ring? Oh, wait, no. This one... This one has an opening. So, I think they're they're really thin jump rings. With a... With a... Uh, can you see that texture? It's kind of like a twisted roping... Ropey? Rope? ish looking texture to it. I like those. Those are some unique jump rings for some delicate pieces. Here's some more bead frames. Um, 
the the bead goes through or the hole goes through the shorter way across this this way so I don't know if like you would connect it like that and it would be like oval links it's kind of interesting I like it these I really like I love antique brass or bronze and yeah I like Ooh, these have a nice weight they're cold but these again are more bead frames you can see the bead hole there where you can string it I don't have anything like these I have something similar to this um, in silver I think I got um, some Joann's or something a long time ago. Oh, look at this! Bags. I got five bags at $3 each. So the bags inside here were three bucks each. They do such a good job of packing and getting all your items. What are these? These are, um, look like some square glass crystal, faceted glass crystal. Um, it's kind of a random mix. This is a green one. This is a blue, and then some cream color. I like it, nice. I don't have any. Um, I don't have any beads like this. I don't have a lot of square beads. Um, I don't know why. I think I. This took me a while to get. <laughs> get these beads back in the bag. I, I think I don't buy a lot of square or rectangle beads, like smaller ones, because I'm always afraid, like, how are they going to, like, you know, bump up against each other, like, the two square beads, like, ugh, like, they're just smashed. They don't have, like, ways to turn, and when they split, they, like, split like that, and then you can see the, the strand your bead strand between them. I know that was kind of hard to follow along with my hands. Okay, so it looks like we got some Czech glass leaves. A little mix, which I love. I love seed bead, seed bead. I love bead mixes or seed bead, no, I keep saying seed bead or bead soup. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we got a broken bead in there. That's okay. We got another broken bead. That's okay. We got some matches. Okay. I mean, that's cool. We got a couple loners. And we got three loners. Living on their own. And we got some rose gold looking. And then like a, a red. Either with a pink. Or a... I don't know. This one's kind of got a rough edge on it. Okay, I see the hole goes through it, and that hole's kind of chipped. They're a little dusty. They could be rinsed. Um, I think this is probably some stock they bought from a company that was closing and liquidating their inventory. And here we go. We have some other leaves of a different shape. I love this color. Look at this orange. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, yummy. Oh, they're a little different, but they're close enough. Got some white, purple, different kind of shades of purple, some light pink, some white. It looks like rose quartz. These look like rose quartz. Nice. Nice leaves. Good way to spice up some earrings or something. Some more leaves. Oh, 
remember buying two packs, but that's fine. Let's see. That's like, um, that's a strange bead. Can you see that? Can you see that hole there and the shape of it? It's like an angle. It's not, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if this is like a messed up bead. I've never seen a bead like this. Strange. Okay, so we got some clear leaves. These are a little dirty. They need to be washed too. I got that. I got that loner blue again. Is that the same loner blue over here? Looks like it. Yeah, these can be washed. This They seem to all... There's no broken ones in here. Just a weird shape. Oops. That's okay. I like it. Just gonna have to clean it. That's what you gotta do with some beads sometimes when you get them from random places. Look at these squares. These square check beads. There's like all kinds of... There's like a stone bead in here. Um... What did I just see? I don't know, there's like a chip bead. I'm just gonna throw that away. I don't need that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put that stone to the side. And there's like a sequin. And there's like an earring nut thing, whatever those little plastic. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Um. That's a lot. Look at all that. There's a lot. Oh. Okay. So, lots of fruity squares. These are juicy. Look great. Like, probably something fun and fruity. Something for summer. Okay, we got amber. It's so lightweight. I always forget how lightweight amber is. It's like, what? Why does it weigh so little? Look, there's a little... Is that, is that a broken bead? I think that's a broken bead. Okay. So we have some really small amber chips. I don't have any amber that I'm aware of. But this has that really beautiful, like, creamy, um, golden opaque honey and a beautiful amber brown those are just golden beautiful amber brown so let's get a little variety in here I like it I love it amber is so interesting just fascinating let's see lot Five dollars each. Two at five dollars. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, these are way better in person than Oh my goodness. Sorry, I love orange. I love a lot of I just love colors. Look at look how that looks. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that just juicy? Mmm. Let's make some smoothies, some fruit smoothies. So this is Nicole. I need to find out what this Nicole company was. I don't, I'm really curious. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I, I tried looking on Google and I couldn't, I didn't get very far. Uh, I think, I think, um... This might be carnelian, carnelian or a uh, dyed quartz or jade. Doesn't say. And then these faceted. I wish it had the name of the stone. It looks like an agate. Got brown beads. <laughs> I've been trying not to buy brown. I have so many brown beads. 
looks ridiculous, but there's like a little purple in there. Do you see that purple? And there's like a pink, pinky color. I wonder what this is. But it's got crackly veins, like. Hmm. Okay. Last bag. Oh yeah, I forgot the magnesite was two dollars each, so I got six different strands. I wish I got more, but it all starts to add up pretty quick. Look at these. These make me think of those like um, African or Indonesian beads um, that are saucers. Oh, these are lightweight. They're kind of cool to the touch. They're not super cold. But they're really beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at that orange and that turquoise together. That's so yummy. And then I got it in just a basic round. Because, you know, that can always come in handy for here and there in your projects and this turquoise which is just a beautiful color to utilize in your jewelry and then we got like this apple green there's like some beautiful brown matrix going through it and they're kind of big these also look don't those look yummy look at all these colors those look so yummy what do i have like um Oh shoot, I wish I had a strand of something punchy and fun next to me. You get the idea. These colors are front, fun and vibrant. And some more magnesite, uh, just basic rounds. These are probably, these are probably 10 millimeter and these are probably 8 millimeter. I could measure it if I took a second to look for my digital caliper. And then I got these kind of wavy shaped turquoise color magnesites. I thought these would be great like as focals or doing a really big chunky necklace. And then I got it in this kind of, I mean this has like a little blue. Do you see that blue in there? Oh, wow, look, those, they really look pretty together. Hmm. But this, yeah, it's got some of that rusty red, kind of a pinky red underneath there. It's kind of, I think it has like a red, I think what it was going on here is like there's, there might have been a blue dye underneath it, <clears throat> and then they did like a wash of like a rusty, pinky rusty red. So you, you kind of got like a faux finish effect. This makes me think of when I was a painter. Um, this is really interesting. It's very lightweight. Um, it's not super cold to the touch. I think a lot of things aren't super cold to the touch because it's like 105 <laughs> degrees. Oh my goodness. Um, my camera's about to run out of memory. Oh man. <laughs> I, I'm always running out of something. <laughs> uh, so what do you think? What do, you, do you have a favorite bead or item from this mix? There's like check leaves. There's probably, what is this? Like probably Chinese crystal. Um, magnezite. Some kind of faceted agate that's really gorgeous. That, with the Look at those purple. Look at those two right there. Those two purpley weird ones. I love it. And you got this wonderful like cube mix and some amber. And all these metal pieces. I, um I had to unpack this thing. It was really well packed. Um this agate kind of reminds me of Montana Agate. Um, Montana Agate has been described to me as 
Oh, this doesn't have a hole. It's a cabochon. I need to wire up, learn how to wire up it. It made me think a little bit of Montana Agate, except it has m more uh, solid looking pieces in it. I don't know how to describe it. Let's see if I can. It's so hard to see. The white's blowing it out. Oh, goodness. Yeah, and you got that sticker back there, that Turkish agate of $12.99. I think I had it for $10. It says $10 on it. 47 by 25 millimeters. It's really gorgeous. So, like, if that was on my hand, that's how big it is. So it's a pretty nice size. I'm going to have to learn how to do some pretty wire wrapping. Not just messy wire wrapping, but, like more controlled. That's uh, something I want to work on. Okay. <clears throat> Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I only got a few minutes <laughs> left on my camera. Ooh. There's a little bit of the yellow. These are like a matte, kind of frosty seed bead. Um, $6.75 at my local bead store. You get a six inch tube. It lasts like forever unless you're like a heavy seed beater then you or uh, yeah. Okay so I made this earring. Uh, I used the zebra and the bead cage. Uh, this bead, seed beads, this bead here, and this bead, and the ear hook are all for my stash. So we got an eye pin. And so like, if you have an eye pin that's like this, I mean this is not the best quality eye pin, but you can use your nylon jaw, nylon jaw pliers smooth it out and kind of work harden it just a little bit all right so let's string on our bead cage seed bead chevron bead these are from India the chevrons they're not made in Africa like a lot of people think but, I mean there are some made in Africa but these aren't Okay, and then we go back up to the bead frame. Then we'll add uh, one of the cubes, an ornate breast ball. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know how loud that sounds. I try to move away from the camera when I do that, but I think it's still pretty loud. So I'm going to turn 90 degree angle, <coughs> man I'm sorry, and then where's my bailing, oh there we are, <laughs> my bailing pliers in front of me. So I'm going to use this one, I don't remember what size is it, let's measure it. Why did <laughs> It's about three millimeters. Can you see that? Three, three point one. Let's turn this off with one hand. Okay, good. So it's like a three millimeter loop. Oh no, all my seed beads. Oh no. Okay, so what happened here? We're gonna have to start over. That's okay. I hope I have enough time. Do I have enough time? Yeah, I got enough time off, make sure it doesn't fly into our eyes. So what we need to do is the seed beads, these yellow seed beads are falling into the inner hole here. So we need to bulk up our seed beads. So 
goes from top to bottom. <clears throat> There's a seed bead in there. I feel it. There it is. Oh, it broke. Or something did. Or something came out. I don't know what that was. What that was weird. The mystery of the bead world. What is going on with the beads in my hand? Okay. This is taking more time than I thought. One more, I think. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, what am I doing? Okay. a lot of seed beads in there. I really like to use seed beads as like little bumpers, spacers. Okay, let's see, can we get... Oh. Okay, I need to get rid of one. And then I think we can get this to fit through there. There we go. There's a little yellow poking through that goes up and down on the seed beads. So it moves a little, that's fine. All right, red mystery stone bead. I got this, this and this from an eBay D stash. And it's just all kinds of like weird random beads. It's fun. It's like you get to see beads you've never seen before, and you're like, where did that come from? All right, so we're going to turn it to a 90-degree angle. Use our baling pliers. I know I do this a little different than a lot of people. It works for me. <clears throat> up. That's not the best job. I'm going to have to redo it. I don't like that. But that's okay. And then we want to open this up. We want to pop our zebra on there. And then close that eye pin. Ta-da! Stacked earrings with a bead frame. What do you think? I used the black and white chevron it's kind of hard to see chevron bead uh to be like hey zebras are black and white <laughs> okay i am almost out of time of my memory card uh thank you for being with me today if you watched all the way till the end love you i love you and if you watched a few minutes i just you know you're all you're all awesome <laughs> i almost said like i was about to say something horrible you're awesome um, let me know what your favorite thing was from, um, Beauty and the Bead. Um, man, my favorite thing is all these little metal bits. I, I want more of these. These have such beautiful detail. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that business. Join my Diani Adorn Beads Facebook group. I'll put the link down below. Um, send me a, a chat. 
and we'll talk about beads and maybe exchange ideas. It's fun to see like something that somebody's working on and they're like, I don't know what to do about blah, blah, blah. And you're like, hmm, what would I do in that situation? And so like, you can also, you can, you can often find really helpful advice when you're like in a bead group. Love you bunches. I'm doing this again. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Love you bunches. Have a wonderful day. Stay cool out there. Get hydrated. Make sure you get your electrolytes. Take care of yourself and your pets. Bring them inside. Don't leave them in the car. It's hot for them too. Take care of everybody. Love you. Bye-bye.